or a dancer? Yeah, so here on both dancing and bartending, you will be getting tips. Um, as a bartender, you usually make kind of minimum wage. You have the opportunity to make a lot of money. Um, most of our girls here on the weekend can range anywhere from like $300 cash to like $1,000 on a decent. I mean, I got to say that money does sound very, very appealing, but is it worth doing the job? That is the question. And that's something that we're about to get into in this video. But before we even get started, we are nearly there. Nearly at that 50K, so please subscribe. We're nearly there. Now, also at the same time, to like the video and let's get into it. $12 for hour. If I know 100% I will be make this salary, I will be taking this job tomorrow. Even if Brennan say no. Uh, well, Julia, to be completely honest with you, I think you killed it. I think you did amazing. I love your energy. I think you're flexible. You're a good dancer. My husband. Okay, well, if you guys want to have that conversation and be at my number. Yeah, yeah. Um, Thank you so much. Thank you. So nice to meet you. Um. I mean, listen, I guess it's a good thing for her to know that she still got it. You know what I mean? She still got the moves. And uh, obviously this uh, strip club want to take her on as a go-go dancer. Now, of course, I feel like there's a big difference probably between dancing in a strip club compared to dancing in a go-go dancing club. And obviously this one here is a strip club, which is obviously mixed with other things. So at the end of the day, there's definitely going to be, you know, men in there looking for certain things. And there's definitely going to be other women in there maybe going for the whole strip route. Now, apart from that though, in Virginia, from what I understand, they are forbidden from showing any new, t uh, they are forbidden from being completely naked, which is obviously a good thing. But either way though, all I know is this, would I want my woman to be working in a strip club? Yeah, no, I don't think so. <laughs> and it's a simple reason nothing to do with insecurity some people get that twisted no 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 because the way i look at it is this as a man if i'm in a position where money's that bad that my woman is now willing to strip herself that makes me feel like absolute garbage it makes me feel like as if i'm not doing my job do you see what i'm saying so for me personally i would i would rather leave her and struggle alone because hopefully she'd have the if she, uh, if I know she has family to go to, you know what I mean? I'd rather leave her rather than struggle alone, rather than stay with her, knowing that she's going to be out there pretty much using her body to bring us money in. That legit makes me feel less masculine than ever. You see what I'm saying? But of course, I wouldn't want to leave my woman. Obviously, I'd want her to stick by my side and obviously, you know, wanted to be as patient as possible. But I get it. When times, are, when times get hard, sometimes we can get desperate and I completely understand it. But listen, in this situation here, she may have been a go-go dancer in her past, but guess what, honey? This isn't your past. This is now your present. And the only thing that matters is that uh, do you care about your present and where we're going? Or do you care about <laughs> the fact that you just want to go to something that was easy once upon a time? Because let's not forget, a struggle is here for a reason. A struggle is here because it's not meant to be It's not meant to be easy. Do you see what I'm saying? <laughs> but hey, let's continue and see how she tries to persuade Brandon to allow her to actually, you know, be able to, do a, to, to be able to be a go-go dancer in a strip club. Mm-hmm. I can feel the stuff ending. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, but not nails. You don't need to have nails. A job, then? You have a job? Wait, wait, so you did an interview and they gave you a job? Yeah. It's not a dream job. Take us seriously. Take well, I mean, a understandable. You have to get your dream job right away. You gotta start somewhere. You, you know, you're just going to love the fact that she went for the efforts of decorating the room where they live and, you know, giving them a massage. You're trying to sweeten them up and then start off by saying, I got a job. Really, really building up that anticipation. And Brandon's like, yes, it doesn't matter. Yes, we can do this. Because obviously he thinks it's, in, it's within reason. It's within a, a respectful field, shall I say. And let's not forget, Brandon is a religious person. So, of course, he's not looking to, to break any boundaries. But hey, let's uh, get into that. Just go with gold dancers. I'm not going to tell people my wife works in a strip club. It's just not, it's not, it's not in a strip club. But costumes, this is gold, gold dance. So what, there's dancing. just no, like, nudity then? No, so, Virginia rules them can't have nudity. Gold, gold club, his name gold, gold club. I'm not telling... I mean, listen, as far as I'm concerned, there's no way I could tell anyone that I know that my woman works in a strip club. Point blank, period. Now, of course, she proceeds to now try and say, but I can do other things there apart from being a go-go dancer. Maybe I can just be a bartender. But I think in this situation, Judah's really missing the point. The point is that he does not want his woman working in a strip club. Now, of course, the question brings, is there an issue with anyone working in a strip club if they're not necessarily going to be stripping, if they are literally just going to be a bartender? I mean, listen, that is subjective, you know, for some people, nah, there's no issue to it, there's no issue whatsoever. And for some people, yes, it is because you're studying that, you're studying that environment. Now, this is the way I look at it in this situation. Because she's somebody who, you know, went there for an interview to be a go-go dancer, and he doesn't want her to be a go-go dancer in a strip club, 
how can he then trust her to still go work there, but instead of doing go-go dancing, to actually, you know, just be a bartender? And also at the same time, how can he not know that maybe this is just the beginning of her trying to persuade him to allow him to allow her to just be in the place and then eventually once the money come rolling she may hope that maybe she's she can then persuade him to allow her to go to the full mile because sometimes people will try and manipulate you by saying okay i'll just do this little bit here here and then in the end they're like actually you know what i should actually do this or to make it even worse they'll be like listen don't worry i'll be a bartender but in reality because they know you're never going to turn up because of your religion they're actually out there being an actual go-go dancer so here's the thing it's not something that I would personally know whether I could trust you or not, but that's the problem. If I feel like I can't trust you, well then you're definitely not working in that place. But at the same time though, do I really want to be in a situation where I don't trust my person to be in anything because like trust is a very big thing all around in a relationship. So if anything, the fact that he has said no, Julie should just respect it and be like, okay, we'll, we'll let it go. Rather than trying to now continuously persuade him. I just don't see it going in the right direction. But hey, in this context here, Okay, take a bartender. No. Why a bartender? Go work in a bartender in a bar. So why stop there? Why don't you go do porn? You know? Go with, go okay, you, you are going to like over the top right now. No, know? I think you're going over the top. You really need money. And if Ben says no, I'm maybe going to do this anyway. Go sleep. I'm done. I'm, I'm tired from this conversation. I mean, listen. I get it. They need money. But I would never be comfortable being with somebody that is so desperate for money that they will go and do things that are just uncalled for or things that I disagree with, shall I say? Yeah. So I understand Brandon Brandon's standpoint in this one. I mean, obviously Brandon's trying to be the man in the house and at the end of the day, he can't do that if his woman is out here using her body to earn money in this format. I guess it'd be different if she was like a model, you know what I mean? A respectful model, of course. I ain't talking about no freaking OF model, OF models, you know what I mean? I don't even know how you could be an OF person but be a, but be a model. It makes no sense, but hey, it is what it is. But nonetheless though, um, the question is this, is Judy still going to do it behind his back or is she going to let it go? If I was her, I would let it go because what she's going to ask herself is this, what's more important her relationship her, their relationship or her need to have to make money just because you know right now things are not exactly where they where they need to be but here's the thing though we know that you know brandon's family is still there to help and whatnot so it's not like they're in a position where they really need money to the extent of where they're going to be homeless they just need money just to help you know continue to build the home that they bought and that's it and honestly to be honest i don't know why some people just don't want to go for the struggle of uh of the journey to be honest because going for the struggle of the journey can do many good things for you if it's done properly it can do a thing where it brings you two closer it can make you have fun memories of how maybe you create ideas it could do anything it really depends on the perspective you want to look at it i just feel like when people hear the word struggle they instantly think something negative and it doesn't have to be negative because let's be real to get anywhere in this life that we want to get to we always have to struggle on the way there. Do you see what I'm saying? And some of us actually enjoy the journey of the struggle because it makes us stronger. It makes us build character. But then some of us don't want to enjoy the struggle. So therefore, we rather look for the easy way rather than the hard way. And all I know is this, people that generally look for the hard way usually end up building character and usually end up, you know, becoming more mature because they learn from those journeys. But people always looking for the easy way. Those are the people that are less likely to build character. And those are the people, you know, that never really end up maturing as much. Look at it this way. <laughs> there's a reason why some people get arrested and go to jail there's a reason some things don't work out for certain people because they're always looking for the easy way depending on what the context is of course but hey you guys let me know what you're thinking down below and uh, we'll talk about it don't forget to like subscribe and of course peace oh.